Hey guys, this is Dusty, doing another video recap for the Unity at Home project. This week we're showing off what is arguably one of the lamest weapons ever. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's our first gun, but it's not even a real gun, it's like half of a gun, it just does the effects. Here, let's fire it once or twice and you'll see what I'm talking about. So yeah, so you, so you can see it's, it's working there. Uh, but there's a couple of systems that we got in place, and I want to talk about them briefly. Uh, the first of these systems is that it actually works correctly in multiplayer, and that turned out to be quite a bit of work, uh, getting that lined up this weekend. I'm going to grab the other controller here and walk this mech down to you, so you can see it firing its weapons correctly as a remote client. Uh, and each gun is animating. You see, you hear the sound effects fired from that mech. Uh, you can see the muzzle flash flare that going off there as a part of the effects. Uh, it turns out um, getting that set up correctly was a little bit more uh, trouble than I anticipated. Most of it had to do with trying to put uh, net aware components, behaviors, on sub-objects under the prefab. Uh, once I figured out that you can't do that uh, and spent a lot of time rummaging through the manual, I was able to sort most of those things out. Uh, the other kind of really important thing to talk about here is our effects package. Um, what I really wanted to do is to figure out a way to differentiate the uh, playing of the effects uh, to make sure that the effects are only played on the client while all of the simulation of the weapon is done on the server. And I talk about that uh, in a pretty good detail in the blog. Uh, the other thing that I really wanted to do was to make sure that I can put together a collection of effects in a single package, but you have each effect within the collection to have different start times and stop times. So if you look at this particular gun's firing, you can see that uh, the animation plays, the animation has a length of about a second, the muzzle flash plays, it has a length of only about 0.05 seconds, and the sound effect plays, and it has a length of about 0.0 seconds, as, and is delayed slightly from the start of the animation. So this allows us to really chain together, I think, powerful effects, this system that we've set up, uh, so that we'll be able to uh, build things like chain guns and beam weapons and that sort of thing in the future. Uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, everything I wanted to show you about the, our half weapon this week. Uh, hopefully next time we'll be able to get some other stuff going. Uh, if you're coming at this from the, uh, not in the blog, please check out the blog. I've got it linked below. Until next time, take care.